Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video, we looked at how to set middleware to a specific, to, to the entire uh, system, right? To all the pages, because all the pages now are saying you are not logged in. Now, I don't want it to work on the login page. Now, I must mention that there's a way to omit a specific middleware to a group. You can put middleware to a group but then you can omit one page. So it's all that is possible, but I don't want to complicate the lesson. So we're going to go for the simple stuff, right? So what I want is in this case, I don't want to the system to check if I'm logged in on the login page itself, because that doesn't make sense. So how do we do that? We remove our middleware from the global and we put it in the group middleware. So we have to open our kernel file that's inside the midware folder. So click there, click on uh, kernel. So our midware is right here, check login. So let's remove it. So we don't need it from there, out of there. Mm -hmm. Now, this midware in here is the one that deals with groups. So if we want to add to a group, we'll be dealing with this. Now, if I try and put my middleware in here, which is written web, it will still work on all my routes because I am putting my routing inside my web file here. So still, everything in here runs once you run your routing in there. But instead, we want to create our very own. So make sure the after the comma here, let's duplicate one of these. Okay, so these are just uh, array items. So I want to create my own midware group here. So I'll just call it my group like that. You can really call it anything you want. It's just the group name for your midware. Um, so I'll just call it my group. Remove the throttling there. All I want is a path to my midware file, which is in apps, app, HTTP, midware, check login, and it's a class. That's why we add that at the end. So I have a group there. Very nice. I'll save it. Now, if I refresh, I don't get that message of you are not logged in on the login page, but I don't get it anywhere either, anywhere else either. See, on the profile page, I don't get it either. So because that's because I need to specify exactly what group of routes to add my group midware to. So to do that, I'll go to my web.php, which is this routes web.php. And these are my three routes here. So I have the login page, I have the profile page, I have the admin page. So the pages that I want to be able to check are these two. So let me push them over for a second here, these two routes right here. So I'll put them inside a function that will create a group, okay? So here, now the thing is, I don't need to do it uh, like this, the way I've done it this way. I can use the view as a shortcut. I can just say view like that, so that I open a view directly, right? So I'll just move this here and then delete everything else like that. So this is a valid uh, view. So let me do the same for the admin page. If you don't want, this is when you don't want to show a, any controller, you just want to show the view directly. So let me do that again. Let's put a comma there. So to show that I haven't broken anything here, let me go to the profile and admin pages and try to re, uh, check them out. So this is the profile page, it's working just fine. And this is the admin page, it's working just fine. The only difference is they don't have controllers and so on. Okay, so now how do I add my middleware to these two uh, views here? Well, it's easy enough. All I need to do is type route like this, exactly the way we do the get, but instead of get or post, we are going to use group like so. Okay, so let me put a 
colon uh, semicolon there so inside here it takes two parameters the first one is an array of the middleware that you want to run uh, on this on these particular items so if i have several middlewares i can put them in there so here i'm going to say middleware like so comma and then uh oh not the comma sorry like that and then the name of the middleware which is my group so this is simply a an array. So you can create the array here and just pass it in here if you want to. No problem. You can do something like this. Um, and say middleware and then say is equal to my group like this. This is going to work exactly the same. And then I can pass in this array right here like so. Okay. Same thing. It's going to work the same. But just to keep it clean, I'll do it like this. So midware group, that's the name. And then I'll put a comma and say function like that because I need to put a function there. Okay, so the first one is an array of the midwares. The second one is a function that will run uh, there. now. I want to put these guys inside the function so I'll create some space here and just uh, simply move my items in there like so and that's it so every route that I put here will have that my group middleware run on it like that so save that and let's come back here for a second and let's try that again so now you see it's telling me you are not logged in and then if I go to my profile page it will tell me you're not logged in. But if I go to my login page, uh, it doesn't ask that. That's because my login is not part of this midware here. Now, if I now go to my midware and actually redirect, I'll just say redirect. Where do I want to redirect? To the login page. But I have to return this like that. Okay. So let's come back here and give it a shot. Here it doesn't work, but let's go to my profile page now. And as you can see, the profile page returned me back to the login page. Let's try the admin page as well. And it just brought me back. If I try my welcome page, it's going to work because it's not part of the group that checks there. But if I go to my profile page, it sends me back to my login page. Now, if you want to see this in better detail, maybe let's add a view called, uh, let's add, let me add an H1 here. Let me save this view as denied, like access denied dot, uh, let's add blade as well dot PHP. Okay, so I'm just going to say H1 here and say access denied maybe that would be much easier to see and then here i will go to my uh, redirect to denied right and then i just need to create a, a route for it the route won't be in here obviously because we don't want to check if you're logged in on the access denied page now do we so i'll put the route here and just say denied goes to denied like that okay so that's about it and now if I refresh and now I want to go to my profile page it will tell me access denied right if I want to go to my admin page access denied so let's go back to the welcome page mm -hmm. but now let's try and set the value so right inside my welcome page here, I just want to set a session data. I'll say session like that. And I'm going to say put, because I want to put an item there. I want to put logged in like that and set that value to true. 
like so. So I've set it. So the moment I go to my, I refresh on my homepage, then I've set that value. Now, if I go to my profile page, I will not be told access denied. You see, now it works just fine because what it's looking for exists. If I go to my admin page, I have access now. And now if I forget this guy, which means I have logged out, right? So we are trying to see. So if you had a logout page, that's what you would do on that logout page. But for clarity's sake, why not create it? So let's create it here. And I'm going to go uh, and say new file and uh, actually we don't even need a view for the logout page. What we need is actually a controller. So let's create a controller real quick. Let me go to artisan here for a second and uh, open containing folder. Let's open the command line. Uh, where are you command line? Okay, so I'm going to say PHP artisan make controller and the controller name will be uh, logout. I'll use the word controller in the controller just so I know it's a controller. Oh, I made a mistake here. Artisan without an E there. Make controller logout controller. Okay, so it was created and I will exit. So if I come back here now, I'll have in my controllers a logout controller right here. So what do I need to do in this logout controller? Let me just uh, get this uh, for a second. I'll undo here so that this logs logs you in. The home page logs you in, and then the logout page log, logs you out. So all I have to do in here, I'm going to say session forget, and then what are we forgetting? The login value. Let's remove it from the session. And then we're going to return a uh, redirect. Where are we going? Redirect us to the login page. Okay, like that. And we're done. So now, since I'm already logged in, if I refresh on my admin page, everything is cool. If I go to my profile page, everything is cool. But now if I go to my logout page, oh, Wait a minute, I didn't create a route for my logout. So let me go to web. I need a route. So just duplicate one of these and just put logout. And just to keep things um, more formal on the profile page here, I can put a link to my logout and just say A like that. And I'm going to use blade in this case. And I'm going to say URL logout like that. Okay. So what will be in here is logout text like that. So it's just a link to the logout page. That's all. So copy that. And let me go and do the same for my uh, admin page. Yes. At the very end logout this way we have uh, on the profile page if i refresh i have a logout button if i go to my um, admin page as well i have a logout button so now if i click on logout boom uh -oh. view logout not found oh sorry my bad here let me go back to my web web.php route I forgot that uh, the logout page requires a controller. So sorry about that. Let me change this to one of these. So I'll delete this, this one here and just do logout here. And then what is the controller I'm looking for? It's logout. 
So let's go to the logout controller. Oh, and this is another mistake I made. I didn't create a function here. I don't know why. Function, uh, let me call it index as usual, like that. You can't run things without, in a class without a function. So let's do that. Okay, so we are good to go. We have a, let's call it a public function. Better to be specific. So public function index, do that and redirect me. And then here I'll just save that. That's the route. Okay. So let's go back, refresh the page, click logout. Target class logout controller does not exist. But why? Well, that's because we didn't add it at the top here in the web. Those little things that we forget, right? So let me type logout here, controller. Mm -hmm. Now it will exist, yes. Mm -hmm. So back, refresh on the admin page, logout. And now I'm back on the login page. If I try to go back to the admin page, it will tell me access denied. But if I go to my home page, it's as good as logging in. And now I can go to my admin page or my profile page. And then I can click log out. Okay, so I hope uh, this long video has taught you something about middleware and how to limit access to people and so on using these routes and middleware. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video where we see how to add middleware to a very specific view. See you then.